This story begins in a ranch home that looks quite serene from the outside. But inside, there's lots of hustle and bustle. A new family has just moved here with a pair of Maine Coons named Wilhelmina and Fred. Fred's a little unsettled with all the change, and it's tough to find any place that feels stable. But the new house isn't even the biggest change this pair is facing. Just one day after the move, Wilhelmina gave birth to six kittens. And right now, even they're a little scattered. The litter is made up of five girls and one boy named Maurice. Wilhelmina likes order. So she calls everyone to lunch. And for the moment, order is restored. Meanwhile, Fred watches from above. His perch is finally grounded, and he's not taking any chances by getting down. Hopefully, he'll adapt to all this change soon. After all, his breed was developed on the go. Maine Coons are the largest of all house cats. It's believed they descended from domestic long and short hairs brought over by European seafarers. When they settled in New England, the cats were released into the cold woods, where their coats thickened and they evolved to be larger and hardier than most cats. Today, Maine Coons are beloved for their intrepid spirits. This little girl named Gertrude is already showing her intrepid spirit. She's set off on a mini odyssey. At least as far as one can set off with two inch legs. But when a deck can tries to steer her back, Gertrude holds her ground. She's the captain of her own ship. Her brother Maurice, on the other hand, just wants to stay close to mom. But that can be tough when you've got to compete with so many sisters. And that's when he notices his handsome dad high above the female fray. Maybe dad's got the right idea. Maurice is pretty new to the world, and he's still not sure how he fits in around here. Perhaps he and his dad can soon figure it out together. The three-week-old kittens have just settled in for a nap. The calm in the room and Wilhelmina persuade apprehensive dad Fred to come down from his perch. Since all the kittens are asleep, mom and dad take the opportunity to check out the rest of their new house. But little Gertrude's not really asleep. There are far too many moving pieces around here to waste time napping. She decides to investigate, and her siblings follow her lead. Only boy Maurice isn't sure about this stuff, and soon lands himself in a sticky situation. Meanwhile, Gertrude seems drawn to danger and looks for it at every level. But before she knows it, she's in too deep. Though she calls for help, 
It looks like Gertrude's on her own. Sometimes in life, you've got to learn to get yourself out of a mess. After her dangerous feat, Gertrude is finally ready to sleep. And just watching it has exhausted her siblings. When mom and dad return, they're thrilled to see that their pack of kittens are still sound asleep. Just the way they left them. But new dad Fred is feeling more at home and slowly getting to know his little ones. Of course, parenthood is a learning experience, and Fred has not yet learned what happens when you leave the nursery door open and six curious kittens inside. Adventurous Gertrude sees an opportunity and takes it. And before long, her five siblings follow. Only boy Maurice is hesitant about his sister's endeavor. But he doesn't want to be left behind. Very strange things are happening out here. And the curious kittens can't wait to see what else there is. It turns out there's a great mess to play with out here. And all six kittens are into all sorts of new things. But before he knows it, Maurice finds he's gotten in way over his head. Maurice decides it's time to get away from his mischievous sisters. And in the calm, quiet hall, he finds his calm, quiet dad. The Maine Coon's fluffy coats are filling out beautifully. And the kittens are doing a pretty good job with their grooming, too. The sextuplets sure are growing up fast. What's not so fast is the progress of the move. It seems the boxes never end, which is just fine with the kittens, who eagerly wait to see what's inside. And what comes out immediately catches the 12 little eyes in the room. Gertrude is the first to investigate. And soon the others are lured in by the sound, too. Maine Coons are one of the few cat breeds known to love water. But seeing it and being in it are two different things. It's time for the kitten's first bath. But adventurous Gertrude thinks this is one adventure she could live without. And after watching Gertrude, the other girls try to make themselves scarce. But their brother Maurice takes to it like, well, a Maine Coon to water. It looks like the only boy of the bunch has finally found his element. <laughs> 